Okay, Jeff, here's uh, the bottom side of the T-Bird. I am no videographer, but that's for sure. But uh, as you can see, new fuel tank. Um, the tailpipes are also new. Uh, we had those put on. The old ones were uh, had a little bit of a perforation. They were quite old. Now the rest, uh, you know, your concern about the frame, uh, I can certainly understand. The frame is in extremely good shape. It's not very pretty because it's got 60 years old, 60 years of undercoating on it. Uh, but this is one car that if all that undercoating was removed, it would look actually quite nice. Um, but there is absolutely no rot in the frame. You can see the seams here where the undercoating isn't quite coating there, but uh, those are all factory box seams. You can look down through the frame there, across the back here. Again, a lot of nasty uh, dirt and stuff that's trapped in the undercoating and, you know, some minor surface stuff. But as far as frame goes it looks quite nice looks like it had shocks probably in the not so distant past but uh, they're certainly not new but they seem to work very nice I'm going to go along that frame rail all the way here got a little uh, uh, oil from uh, some leakage at some point and there we get up to the coils and oil build or grease build up on those ball joints and things like that from years of having been greased but the oils or the grease has never been knocked off the front suspension points a frames control arms all look good but I tell you what, everything was undercoated. Let me tell you, they didn't take a chance on anything not being coated. Power steering, ram. Again, we're running alongside the or bottom of the frame here. And it is just as solid as can be. All the way up and through. There is no rot whatsoever. Uh, pinion seal is is seeping just a bit it's not enough for a drip but it is uh, obviously seeping some floors uh, floors look really good oh, here's a good example they are extremely solid there's no rust no perforation but I tell you what nothing could get to it the way it's coated and there is one bracket this um, bracket that's welded to the bottom of the floor and to that inner rocker um, it they make a patch for that that's the only thing that's got any rot under here is that that uh, uh, that's a real thin sheet metal bracket that goes under the floor out to the outer rocker and these over here are in nice shape but uh, and see as you can see the rockers are all real solid no no rot whatsoever in there or you can see up inside the, the fender up inside the fender there and there's you know some old undercoating that's flaked off there and it's all sagged here because they put so much of it but again no rot at all um, there's looking up the motor looks like the valve covers might be seeping a bit but uh, nothing pouring but um, bottom of the tranny mufflers um, it does have uh, glass pack resonators in addition to the mufflers it gives it a nice mellow sound it sounds great and springs are all in good shape 
Okay, I don't know how much of this you saw. I get to tend to looking at the car and not the camera, but um, there's the bottom of the spare, and as you can see, all that was undercoated. Back of the bumper, all that's in good shape. But I'll, uh, I'll go around the outside of it, and we'll get some video there, too.